we're chilling here. We've got a giant pile right now. First find of the day. Some DNA coral. Very cool. Haven't done micro shelling in quite a while. I actually have to keep sand in this uh, tub here because the wind is so strong. The weather's been crazy lately. Little cowrie shell. Look at this giant pile along here. It's just crazy. Ah, got a bean cowrie. I reckon we'll find a lot of those today. There's just an enormous amount of shells right now. I am still a little bit sick, but going mental sitting at home so I decided to take it easy and come down and do some micro shelling. Got a bit, uh, bubble carry there, I almost called it a bean carry. It's pretty cool. Yeah you can probably tell in my voice that I'm still a little bit sick but uh, I figured some sea air might make me feel a bit better. Oh sea urchin peace. It's a shame. What do I see? Pheasant shell. Sweet, awesome. I haven't been micro shelling in a while, so this should be good. Look at the pile all along here as well. Let's check it out. Let's try here. See a couple of things. We see another cowrie shell. They're everywhere. Lots of pheasants today. Look at this tiny turbo shell. Pretty cool. Hoping to find myself a carrier shell today. A broken carry there. Oh yeah, it is pretty broken. There's a nice Mitra. Also, I don't need to collect the red coral anymore. I have a full container now, which is pretty sweet. Took a very long time to fill that up. There's a cat carry. Pretty sweet. They're pretty hard to find here, honestly. Is that a juvenile carry? Sure is. You can tell they're juveniles because they look kind of like olive shells and they're super thin. Very nice. What else do we have? Look at this pile. Oh my goodness. This is giant. I haven't seen anything like this in a while. Got a sea bush. Yeah, I haven't seen a pile quite like this in a long time, my friends. Look at this, two more of those carries. These ones with the black spots on top are everywhere. Oh, just got so many piles washing up. It's high tide right now. Very cool. Let's head down the line a bit more. The broken stuff here, There's things here, including a little red bit of coral. It's pretty cool, pretty hard to find those pieces. What else do we have? Lots of these that I've seen, like there's one, two, three, We've got a turbo piece, green turbo piece, that's a shame, I think I'll keep it though. Any pheasants, look at that bit of coral, it's unique. Oh, a bean carry, nice. Carrier shells, that would be nice. Water's coming up higher. Some carry shells. Oh, I was just here a moment ago. That looks like it's got zigzag pattern. It's definitely not a zigzag carry though. Another big pile that's just washed up here at the front. Got another red mitra. I don't know if this is coral or not because I've seen it like a lot. Oh, yeah, definitely. I've never actually picked it up much. There's just so much of it. Looks like popcorn. I think it's pretty cool. Limpets everywhere again today. Very nice. What else do we have? What do we see? The water's still coming up. That's good. It means it's bringing more in. Hopefully. Another limpet. Nice one. Really cool color. Harry Triton piece. It's a shame. Another limpet. We get so many different like colors of limpet here. Like there's one. There's another one. Kind of broken. They're everywhere here. seen 
one of these in a long time. I've actually only ever found one. It is quite a bit broken on the lip there, but hey, that's definitely a whole shell. Awesome. Yeah, they're really rare here. Like I said, I've only ever found one. It's weird. No idea what that is. Got that sea bush still here. Too broken to keep. Yeah, this hurts a little bit, if I'm honest. Bare feet on these uh, shell shards. Pretty cool limpet there. That one's actually really cool. Ow. It's like full on deep as well in this shell pile. Another pile here. Nothing too much in it, just broken stuff or really, really tiny, like, like pheasants here. That's a super tiny pheasant. There's another tiny pheasant. Ah, did I drop it? I did drop it. Abalone piece. Lucky that pheasant wasn't rare because I can't spot it now. Really nice to look at here though. What is that? No idea. Of, uh, red coral here, there's like a thousand pieces. See another juvenile cowry. Looks like just a common cowrie for sure, but it's definitely a cool juvenile. What do we got here? I saw a couple of pheasants. Can't make room for my leg. There we go. I see a couple of pheasants. Like here's a tiny one. Nice. There's another pheasant. Better size. There's a nice one. Good size, actually. Nice red tinge to it. Pretty sweet. Is that a pheasant? What the heck is that? Let me show you. I think it's a sort of pheasant. Not too sure. I've never really seen one with the stripes. Is that a clandestine? Yeah, it is super broken, though. I'll definitely keep it. I think it's cool. I don't usually find many broken ones, they're too small to break. Even in these massive piles of grit. Got a Mitra there. See all these uh, purple pieces? Sometimes I see comments asking what these are. And these all turn into basically a volcano shape uh, barnacle piece. So that's what they are, just barnacle pieces. Pretty cool, right? That answered some of you guys' questions. This is more so a pile of broken stuff and classic red coral pieces. Yeah, not much energy today, guys. Usually I'm super excited and crazy and up in the camera getting all excited about shells, but uh, yeah, just not much energy, hey. Still sick. Just a common cold, so should be over it tomorrow. Got a nice little limpet there. Very cool. Water's coming up behind me. Shouldn't be getting too much higher at all. Looks like we had, I just saw it, yeah, a tiny, tiny bit of uh, purple coral, purple DNA coral. That stuff is really hard to find. I'll keep it. It is tiny, but it's hard to find, so I'll be taking that. That's pretty cool. That's just another pink barnacle piece. That's really cool, actually. Broken Arabian there. What else do we got? Another limpet. It's like a cherry sort of color. Still haven't found a carrier shell. Hopefully I will today. A couple of sand dollars up here. Might as well grab them. Tiny sand dollar. They're actually not sand dollars, they're sea urchins. But uh, I just call them sand dollars, I always have. Holy moly, that is a giant pheasant. Look at that. That is one of the biggest I've ever seen. They don't even, they don't usually get that big here. Like not even close to that, maybe even half of that. That's awesome. Got a beam carry there. That was a nice little surprise. That's a big bit of red coral as well. I'm gonna take that. This is a nice little spot. 
got a turkey wing. Pretty sweet. Don't find those often at all. Don't know why, I just don't have luck with them, I guess. Any carriers, I'll leave it, just be super happy with one carrier. I had a lot of good luck with them recently. Nice little bit of, I call these pillow corals. Whenever they sort of blend in really nicely. That's what I tend to call that. Not much than that. As you go down this line, closer to the water, it sort of uh, turns into a lot of broken stuff. Tiny uh, slipper shell or something. Like that's a proper micro one. I think it was just the top of the shell though. Now the limpet, the limpets are just out of this world at this place. At the Daly Beach. What about down the line here? Yeah, we got a couple of piles. Oh, that's one of those pen shells, isn't it? It sure is. I'll keep it though, I don't usually find many of them. Ow. Piles underneath as well. Alright, what do we got here? Old limpet, nothing too amusing. Ow. No idea. Oh, let's keep moving down the line. In this pile, look at this giant uh, slipper shell. A bit broken on the underside, so that's really nice. Well, probably one of the biggest ones I've ever found. Sputnik piece. I found a whole one of these urchins in one of my previous uh, showing episodes. That was incredible. I did leave the spines on that one. That was actually the first whole sponging shell I've ever found. Got a little cowrie shell there. Very nice. I don't think I've been through this pile here. Bunch of worm shells today. Another one of those blue cowrie shells. Not sure what they're called. I just call them blue cowries, honestly. Ooh. Got a nice little moon snail here. One of the flat ones. Really nice colours. Inside and out. Definitely empty. Just some shell grit there. Got a bigger carry shell. Another common shell. Down here a little bit. Going pretty well with the moon snails. That's two kind of rare ones today. It's a Saturday school holidays so we've got quite a lot of people down today. Another slipper shell, super broken, it's a shame. It's starting to really like the slipper shells. Ah, dang. Pheasant. don't seem to stop today, which is great. Got another one there. Comment down below how many we've found so far, guys. I reckon like 10 or 15. Cool clam shell. Oh man, one of those pink inside base shells. That's actually still pretty cool though. I think I'm gonna keep it just for the micro pile. Another nice limpet. Sorry if I'm showing you guys the shells too fast. I can't focus that real right now. I'm starting to feel pretty tired, honestly. Oh wow, a ladybug. How cool is that? Usually they got spots on them, but it's obviously a different type. Broken pheasant. nice things in here. First thing I spotted was obviously this, uh, what is it, pink coral, which is a really nice piece, really flat piece, usually they're all wavy and 
then I spotted the broken clandestine, which is actually the second one of the day, the bean cowry, and then what was right next to that um, broken clandestine was this Isabella. Oh, no, this is not Isabella, this is a margin cowry. That's it. Awesome. Don't think I showed that one quick enough. I mean, uh, for long enough. Sorry about that, guys. Pink tin, pink ends, that's how you know it's a margin carry. Super tiny, they don't usually get bigger than I'd say about that. So that's nice. Keep moving along here. A bigger pile right here. What do we got right off the top? Broken piece. Another Sputnik piece. Sweet. Uh, is that a bubble? Yes, it is. Nice. Second bubble of the day. Awesome. Don't usually have too much luck with these. Limpet shell, but it's pretty broken. I can't believe it. Two, uh, two bubble shells. Another sea boob piece from Sputnik. I always call it sea boobs. Alright, let's move along. What's that? That would have been a uh, margin, I reckon. Oh, that would have been a huge pheasant. Dang. A bunch of uh, sand dollars here. Oh crap. Another sand dollar. This is typically where the carrier shells are as well. All up in these high tide points. 